This program contains adult language and situations which may be considered offensive to some viewers and or children, but more likely their parents. Oh, all right, kitties. It's Dragon Lord Frodo. And, uh, I, um, as you can tell, my voice is all fucked up. Now, I want to apologize for last night when I was doing a, a live stream. And, uh, Doug Reed, I guess his name, was saying that he was trying to, he came on one of my live streams last night, and it's just, he, um, he was, I guess, I don't know, I don't know what the fuck's going on, but, I guess he's moving to Buffalo at, to take care of his sister or something, I don't know, but the sister, uh, went in the hospital, and he doesn't fucking know anything about Buffalo, so he comes on the live stream, and he's like, where's this hospital she's at? I mean, there's like, there's like eight different hospitals in Buffalo and the surrounding areas. So, he said, she's in a hospital on Carlton Street. Well, the only hospital I know of over there, make sure you're... There's two hospitals, but I'm I'm not exactly sure what it is, cause um, there's two hospitals over there. One of which, and they're all in the same area too. Um, there's Roswell Park, which is which is just for like it's it's for uh, people with cancer. Okay, that's like a, a cancer hospital. Like, you can't just go there because you broke your, your fucking foot or something, you know? And then there's Buffalo General uh, Hospital, which is, like, is somewhat around that area. There's, like, a whole area in Buffalo where it's just all hospitals. And, um, <clears throat> let's see here. Um, I'm just looking at, at these places. Uh, see, that's the thing. There really, there really isn't, how do I say this? There really isn't any hospital, per se, on Carlton Street in Buffalo. There's a, uh, There's, there's, there, like, there, he said that his sister had a heart attack, okay? So what I'm guessing is, is that she's at Buffalo General. Because Buffalo General Hospital, okay, is, I mean, it's, it's a, it's a general hot you can go there for anything but they they have a really i guess they have a really good um uh unit there for um like heart disease like if you have a heart attack you're going to buffalo general is what i'm pretty much saying here so <clears throat> if you have cancer you're going to fucking uh roswell And, um, so, it, uh, let's see here. Buffalo General isn't actually on Carlton. It's very, very close, though. I, let me see here. Buffalo, Buffalo General Hospital. Yeah, it's, it's on High Street, Okay. It's like high and Carlton. But you wouldn't know that. You wouldn't know that if if they if they oh go to the hospital on Carlton because 
you're not going to know that because when you look it up on online, it says 100 High Street. And um, you're not going to know that. What you're going to what you're going to know is you go on, uh, you look it up. You look up Buffalo General Hospital, and it's 100 High Street. But you can pretty much say that it's on Carlton. It's like it's like right right around that area, okay. So I'm guessing I want to I want to um, I want to try to you know give this guy you know um, what do you call it some kind of I want to give this guy some kind of answer, so, um, so yeah, I believe that your sister is at Buffalo General Hospital just because of the heart attack thing, and it is, like, right near Carlton Street anyway, okay? There's, like, there's, like, three different hospitals around there. There's, uh, Buffalo General, there's Roswell Park, which I said was for a uh, cancer and then there's then there's a new um they just open it there's a new uh, children's hospital which I, I'm sure she's not going to okay um now I do have to apologize because I was kind of I was kind of like in a mood yes not not really in a mood but as you can tell I can't really speak well. My voice is fucking shot right now. And it's going to take me a couple days for my voice to come back. And that's because that fucking Uncharted 4 game fucking killed my voice. Okay? And how the fuck did a, a video game kill my voice? Well, no, I didn't get frustrated at the game. But the game said tight so many fucking times that, and it's a it's a big joke too. When you hear the word tight, you go, he said tight, he said, uh, uh, and is doing that so many fucking times, is screaming like that. And it wasn't a scream out of anger; it was a scream because I just get it all excited. It was a scream for show. Anyway, it killed my voice and now I'm paying for it. So it's like, when I'm doing a live stream, I just, like, I, I, I thought about just turning off the live stream because I didn't want to have to deal with people and talking and all that. But your, your sister is probably at Buffalo General. Okay, that's that's the one I'm guessing she's at. And pretty much what you do to get down there, let's see, you're you're coming from oh, uh, let's see. I'm trying to think here. So you're coming from like Broadway Market area. So the the, the way that I usually go, the way that I would usually go, if I'm taking the bus, I would take I don't know if he's taking a bus or not, but he should go. If he's taking a bus, he should take. He should go go on to uh, Broadway, okay? And he would have to. He would have to go. He would have to walk up the street, cross Broadway, okay, and then take a bus from Broadway to where from wherever he is, Broadway, and take it all the way downtown. And you would pretty much get off, let's see here. Oh, where's my mouse? Um, let's see here. Uh, I'm trying to look here. So he's going to have to walk it a little bit. So um, pretty much what he would have to do, okay, here's Broadway. Uh, he would probably have to get off at Ellicott Street. It's like Ellicott 
and like right where the fucking thing, those two streets meet up pretty much, uh, where William and, and Broadway meet up when, um, and then it takes that little thing over there, um, like probably like right, right in front of that, uh, that hotel. No, not right in front of the hotel. There's like, there's like a, uh, there's a pawn shop right on the corner there. A Broadway and Elegant. Okay, there's a pawn shop. And what else is there? I don't even know. But the, it's like right where the library and all that is to the, the, um, the downtown central library. Um, so you would have to get off there. And that's pretty much just a long walk down Ellicott Street. Just walk all the way down. You can see, you can see the fucking hospital in the distance. Or the other thing he can do is he can take the, the, the Broadway bus. He can take the Broadway bus and go and take it like a like a stop or two after where I said get off at, um, what do you call it, get off at uh, Ellicott. So instead of getting off at Ellicott, you get off like, oh man, where is it? You get off like right, at, it's like right after Main Street. You get off at like, uh, what is it, Court and Main. So you get off like right after Lafayette Square and you and you walk back a little bit and you get you could catch the, the fucking train. You could catch the fucking metro rail right at Lafayette Square. Um so and you have to you have to catch it going going toward university, not going toward uh Erie Canal Harbor Station. You take the you take the metro rail down, and you get off. It'll go underground, okay. So you take it, and you'll you'll have to. It's like one stop. It's like the first stop. Uh, after you get go underground, so you get off at. It's called Allen Medical Campus, okay. And you 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 get out of the thing there, and. You pretty much just go down High Street. Like, High Street is like right there, okay? And, you know, it's not that hard to get to. Or if you're driving, you go down fucking, I, I don't know how to use it, do it with the fucking highway or anything, but you just go straight down Broadway and then, and then just drive down fucking Ellicott. And you'll get to an area where you'll see a bunch of fucking hospitals and shit. So that's that's where that is. So I'm sorry I couldn't talk yesterday. I still can't really talk. So it's getting a little bit better. And um <clears throat> so as you kiddies know I bought a Nintendo Switch. Okay? I bought a Switch, and I really don't know what to make of it, to be honest. Um, I mean, it's a very unique system. But is it all that unique? I don't really think so. Um, so, I don't know what to make of it. Um, it's... It's a system, you can play it on the go, or you can play it at home, pretty much. So, this is what it looks like. This is a system here. Now, the thing comes with a dock. Okay, this is the dock. And from the dock, you can plug it into your TV. And then what you could play that same game on the go, as well. So... The thing is with, with this is, um, for what it is, it's pretty cool. 
okay? I did get a little frustrated uh, over, over the system, though. Just because it was a little, like, at first, when I first put it on, I was like, how the fuck do I charge the controllers and everything? And, and to, to be honest, the fucking controllers, to charge them is a little weird. But, I mean, once you, once you get used to it and everything, it's, it's pretty easy. Um, but... Because, see, here's what happens. You can take the con these controllers off, right? Hold on. Oh, shit. You can take the controllers off. And, let's see here. It's, a, it's actually a pretty cool system, but the thing is, is that I got a little frustrated over over it a little bit. Um, see, I can prop it up like that and then I can I can do one of these. I can put the, the controllers I can put the controllers on like that and then just use it like this. So it is pretty cool. And I can just play it like that. Or I can put, put plug it into my fucking TV and yeah and what the fuck is he? oh there we go so I can plug it into my TV and I can just do this so I, right now I have two games two games right now for it they are, um, what do you call it? They're both, they're both, uh, they're both eShop games. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. I thought I did this already. Anyway, they're both eShop games. The one game I got is uh oh, hold on. the one game I got is called Earth Wars. It's actually a pretty cool game. Uh it's it's almost like that one game I was playing before. That's what I'm playing right now, but hold on. It's what I'm playing right now. Uh, Earth Wars for the for the Nintendo Switch. It's a uh, it's almost like that game uh, Odin Sphere that I was playing uh, before, but it's um, but this is more sci-fi shit. Like you're like you're fighting you're fighting like um, you're fighting like big like uh, you're fighting like aliens and the shit in this one. In, uh, as opposed to like uh, Norse shit, but it's pretty good. Pretty good actually. But um, so yeah, I mean that's the only real difference. It looks exactly like Odin Sphere in that res respect. So um, I right, leveled up just now. Cool. So, and I also got this other game for the Nintendo Switch called uh, On Epic. It's uh, I don't know, I haven't really played that one. It's about a kid. It's about a guy that that gets sucked into a D and D game, pretty much. It's like a, it's like a platformer, I think. But um. I remember uh, getting those rec. I, I remember I got those because they were recommended to me. Not recommended, but I watch a lot of YouTube videos where uh, where people recommend 
Switch games, and these two were on there. So, um, so yeah, that's that's what I did. And I want to talk about some of the cool things about the Nintendo Switch, and some of the shit that's on here. So, like, uh, first thing I want to say is the screen. The screen on the Nintendo Switch is probably the best looking screen I've ever seen on on anything, really. It's like really good. It looks really nice. And uh, it's probably like one of the best screens I've ever seen. It's probably better than my TV screen. Like, I'm not even kidding. But, um, that, and, uh, I want to say that the whole concept of it is pretty cool. You could play your, the same games that you have, either at home or on the go. Which is, which is one of the cooler things about the system. Now... Here's 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 my here's my gripe with that, okay? And see people people on people online are, are talking about this shit. Like uh like it's like the, the best thing ever. Like it's the like it's the most unique thing ever to come out. And I want to be clear that this kind of shit isn't the most unique thing, okay? This, uh, the, the, the concept of a Nintendo Switch isn't even that unique. Okay, um, you know, playing a game on the go and then playing it at home, it's not the most, you know, unique thing. Because, think about it, it's been done before many times. It, it actually has been done many, many, many times. You probably don't even you probably don't even realize that it's how many times it's been done. Now, here's the thing, okay? The the switch, okay? The switch is not a unique system at all, okay? I remember, I remember back in the day when, I remember back in the day when uh, Sega released something called uh, the Sega Nomad, and pretty much that was, that was just, that was pretty much a, a portable Genesis, okay? You, it, it was it was almost like it was almost like a combination between a Game Gear and a Sega Genesis. You can you can play the same fucking Genesis games that you play on your Sega Genesis on the Sega Nomad. Okay, and yes, it was an official handheld by Sega. Okay, it wasn't like some third-party bullshit. Now, you're asking me, how the fuck is that when you can, you play it, your Nomad on the go, but how the fuck are you going to play it at home? Well, well, here's the thing with the Nomad. The Nomad had a cable that you can hook it up to a TV with. It was just, it was something that just stuck right onto your, um, it just stuck right onto your uh, Nomad there. And uh, it was pretty much just uh, an AV cable. So you can, you can, you can, you can play it, play it as, and you can just, you can use, you can use it as a, as a regular fucking system. Okay, you can use it like as a regular fucking Genesis. Um, now, 
the problem with that though. Um, you have to use you, you either have to use the nomad as a um, as a controller, or you can use you can you can you can go out and buy a fucking Genesis controller. Okay. Now, how the fuck is that not similar to the fucking Switch? And that came out in the fucking nineties. Okay. People are saying that the Switch is like the most unique thing out there. But it really isn't. <clears throat> Hi, Gravy. I mean, even to a certain extent, the, um, the, the Wii U was somewhat portable. To a certain extent. And what do I mean by that? Well, the Wii U... The Wii U had, uh, what do you call it? The Wii U had um, the, the, the gamepad, which I have right here. It's full of dust, though, but I have it. And you don't even have to hook it up to your TV to play it. But you do have to carry around the Wii U uh, console. All you need to do is really plug it in. You don't have to plug, you, you just have to plug in the power and turn on the fucking pad. So I could actually play it on a bus if it has power. You know, I could play anywhere that it has power on. You know. Now, I mean, that's not, I mean, it's portable enough, but it's, you know. That's what I think, that's what I think the Wii U should have done. And because you have the second screen shit. I honestly believe that the Wii U, I honestly believe that the Wii U, that Nintendo should have released, like I, um, I, I, I honestly believe that the, the, the Nintendo should have released for the Wii U, um, like, uh, a Nintendo 3DS player. And I think that's where they missed their mark with that. They should have. I think they should have released the fucking uh, 3DS player. I really do believe that too. Um, I think that would have helped sales. And I don't know, but. Because the Wii U wasn't a bad system. It seems like, though, that with the Switch and the, like, a lot of, and that's where I'm going to get into here, is that with the, um, with the Nintendo Switch, um, a lot of the games for the Nintendo Switch, Gravy, what are you doing? A lot of the games for Nintendo Switch are nothing more than than just fucking ports of Wii U games. And I, I, I think they can do a little bit more with that. But it just seems like it seems like that like whenever, whenever Sony does it with because let's face it, the remakes and not the remakes, the remasters, I should say, the remasters and the and the you know HD remasters and shit for like the PS4. People get pissed off that they that they keep remastering these games to play on the PS4, or PS3 games pretty much that they just remaster into. PS4 games, people get pissed off at that, but then they see the same thing happen with fucking, they see the exact same thing happen at, with the Nintendo Switch in there, they go nuts over it. And, you know, I, I don't really understand that. But the, uh, it just doesn't seem like the Nintendo Switch has a lot of games at this point. 
a lot of the games, a lot of the games, and this is the other thing that really gets me too. There's games that are for that came out on. Um, there's games that came out on the um, um, the Wii U and on the Switch. Like the big one that I, the big one that I always uh, think of is. Um, Uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild. Okay, Zelda Breath of the Wild came out on both the Wii U and the Nintendo Switch. Which, um, and it's fucking stupid because when it's fucking stupid because, um, It's kind of stupid because, oh, uh, hold on, the Nintendo Switch, uh, when those games come out, they always say, they never say that it's for the Wii U. They always say, like, let's say, you never hear about people talk about Breath of the Wild for the Wii U. They're always like, oh, Breath of the Wild's the best Switch game. No, it's for the Wii U as well. People always forget that it's for the Wii U as well. It's like their last game. And I don't know, I mean the only the only games that are worth getting right now, I would say, is probably Super Mario Odyssey. Right now, yeah. I mean, some of the some of the ports may be pretty cool, but that's all they are, are fucking ports of, of 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 older games. And people are like, "Well, you get them on the go too." So, I mean, you it, it the, the the Switch has shittier graphics than you know a PS4. But the big appeal is that you can put it on the go. But I don't know. I mean, I, I'm going to keep it. Um, which is, I don't know. I'm trying to get myself a fucking, uh, like a micro SD card. I could save my fucking games on it. I mean, but the thing is that with the with the Nintendo Switch, there really is no point. There's no point in ever like there's no point in ever like going up to GameStop and buying a game for it. Because it's it's a it's a it's a console you play on the go, you know. You might as well just download all the games, you know. So you have to switch between them all. But I don't know, I think it's an okay system. I just feel like it's just extremely overhyped. That's what I think. I think the Nintendo Switch is overhyped. Now, as you can see right now, it is what time is it? It's 10.42 in the morning. Okay? It's 10.42 in the morning. And I'm eating macaroni and cheese. And, um, if I was at my parents' house and I was living with them or whatever, this one fly. 
a bowl of macaroni and cheese at 10.45 in the morning wouldn't fly. Even though I read an article the other day that says that pizza is more nutritious for breakfast than cereal. Really? Now, you know what my dad would say about that? You know what my dad would say about something like that? He'll, he'll see that and he'll say something like, well, you know, I don't care if it's more nutritious or not. You're still eating pizza. You're still eating pizza for breakfast. Pizza is not breakfast. Pizza is not breakfast, and I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He's like, "What's I, what's for breakfast then?" I have a bowl of cereal. Cereal is breakfast, and then if you go for the pizza for for fucking breakfast, I'll be like, "Uh uh, why are you eating dinner for breakfast?" It, it's it's just it's just weird thing that he has. It's just this old fashioned fucking bullshit, you know, thinking that he has his backwards old fashioned shit. He's like, uh-uh, uh-uh, pizza is not for breakfast, that is for dinner. Mm. Mm, look at this, too. Mm. It doesn't help the fact, it doesn't help the fact that it says... It says right on the box, it doesn't help my, it doesn't help my case at, right on the box it says, dinner. Why the fuck does it keep saying that? And, and he uses it against me too, he's like, and everywhere you look, everywhere you look it says it. Dinner. Every fucking place you look where it says it, <clears throat> mac and cheese dinner, macaroni and cheese dinner, it, it, may, it, it doesn't help my case that everywhere on the fucking box, it says it, And he uses that against me, too. It's like, look, right on the box, it says, it's dinner. Why? That is for dinner. Mike? Mike, I hope you're not eating those frozen pizzas for breakfast. I hope you're eating those fucking frozen pizzas for dinner.
dinner. How about we're fucking grown up? I want to fucking eat macaroni and cheese for fucking breakfast, and I'm gonna eat macaroni and cheese for fucking breakfast. Not everything has to be traditional shit. Right? But it's for dinner. Then, then it's like later at night for dinner. <laughs> you know what he makes for dinner that night? He makes fucking, he makes fucking eggs. And I said, I'm like, Dad, that is breakfast! You don't, you don't eat, you don't eat fucking breakfast for dinner? And he's like, well, you could do that. Why can't, why could I do that with fucking breakfast foods, but not dinner? Why can't I eat dinner food for breakfast? But I can eat breakfast food for dinner. Makes no sense. Such an old fashioned fire. That's probably that's part of his problem too. Like we'll go to we'll go to see a movie or something. Right? And he's like, well He's like, I'm holding the popcorn. I'm like, okay, well I'm getting nachos. Uh no, you're getting popcorn because because when we go to see a movie that's popcorn. Whatever. And we're putting the butter on it. No, what? Oh God! No, no fucking butter. I might just get. I'm not gonna eat anything. Well, you need to eat during the fucking movie. <laughs> That's why I can't do shit with them anymore. But it's, you know, I'm better off just going by myself. You know, for real though, I'm, I'm better off just doing shit by myself. It's like, okay, it's like, here's the thing, okay? Uh, like two years ago, I went to Toronto twice, like two years ago, right? And uh, the first time I went, first time I went, I think it was 2016, right? First time I went, I went with my mom. And we drove there. Okay. And we did some cool shit. Okay. But... Then I went back again, just by myself. Oh my God. I actually had more fun by myself without her than with her. And I felt like it was kind of a big accomplishment for me on top of that. Because, well, because it felt like I felt like I was in control of everything. And you know what? I don't regret it. I do not regret a minute of it. Okay? I don't... I don't regret a minute of, you know, being, being with my mom either in Toronto, but... I felt like I felt like 
I wanted to go, and I felt like, I kind of felt like she was holding me back a little bit. So, I don't know. I mean, when I went up to Toronto by myself, I used Airbnb and I actually got I actually got a better place to stay than a fucking than the hotel room that we 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 uh we got when my mom went up when me and my mom went up. We actually got a better place. Like I got a better place. And uh, it was pretty cool. It was really, really cool. <clears throat> and I just felt like, okay, you're getting a better place, okay, for a fraction of the cost. You see what I'm saying here? You're getting a better place for a fraction of the cost. And I, I thought that was really cool. Cause I think I think I only paid maybe fourteen dollars a night at Airbnb, as opposed to you know two hundred dollars a night with with a hotel room or whatever, and it was a nicer place. <coughs> mm. I thought it was pretty cool, and um, so. It's just some shit that I I have to fucking do myself, you know. It's better if I just do shit myself. That's the way it comes comes out to, you know. It's better if I just do shit by myself, really. That's what I always that's what I always thought cuz then you know, I got to do whatever the fuck I wanted. You didn't have to be like, oh, I won't go there. I won't go here, you know. No, no, no. That was like my, my trip. That was, that was 100% all on me. If I didn't want to go somewhere, then I didn't want to go somewhere. And I didn't go somewhere. But when I did want to go somewhere, I didn't have to, you know, rely on everyone else. Oh, do you want to go here? Do you want to go there? Uh, not really. Well, I want to go here. Well, fuck you, you know? It's, it, it's one of those things. And to be honest, you know, to be honest about the whole thing, I feel like, like that kind of attitude that kind of attitude isn't why it is why I don't have a girlfriend or anything like that. Cause I it's hard for me to compromise. You know, once once you get a girlfriend and everything, let's say let's say she doesn't want to go to fucking Toronto. Okay? Let's say she, let's say you want to go on vacation. And she doesn't want to go to Toronto. She wants to go, I don't know, backpacking in the woods or something. And you don't want to go. Okay? You don't want to go backpacking in the fucking woods. Well then, guess what? You're stuck backpacking in the fucking woods. <clears throat> Or she's gonna have to, she's gonna have to, you know, she's gonna have to realize that, you know, she's gonna have to realize that she's going backpacking in the woods by her fucking self. Let's say she does want to go to Toronto. Okay? Let's say she does go want to go to Toronto. Well, okay, let's go to Toronto then. 
Oh, but I won't eat at this place, even though I wanted to eat at that place. I'd rather eat here. And now there's a big, now there's a big fucking uh, discrepancy. Where are we gonna eat? Or, or I want to go to the science center in Toronto. I don't want to go to, I don't want to go to the science center, but I want to go to CN Tower. She doesn't want to go to CN Tower, but she wants to go to the fucking science center. And I'll be, I, I don't like that shit. And I don't think that, you know, I don't think I'd be a good candidate for a girlfriend because of that. Because now everything has to be, you know, agreed on. As opposed to, I just go my fucking self. And I don't have to worry. I don't have to worry about, you know, doing shit that I don't want to do. Or shit that, not doing shit that I want to do. Because we couldn't agree on shit. It's like this. I remember, I remember seeing this at the main place mall one time. And I think it was complete bullshit. I thought it was complete bullshit when I saw it. But there was, there was a, there was a boyfriend and a girlfriend, I, I believe, or a husband and wife or something like that. And they wanted, um, they were at the main place mall in the food court and they just said, uh, I think the boyfriend wanted Greek food and the girlfriend wanted pizza or something. So they were all, they were both at the pizza thing there and boyfriend's like, I'm going to go get fucking Greek food. And she's like, uh, but we're getting fucking pizza here. And they, they didn't, they didn't get pizza because the boy, the boyfriend wanted fucking Greek food. And he's like, oh, we don't want this anyway. He doesn't want to get fucking pizza. And I thought it was kind of stupid why, why they did that. Considering it's it's a fucking food court and you could just, you could just, you know, you could get whatever the fuck you want. Really. There was no reason, there was no reason why the boyfriend couldn't have his Greek food and the fucking girlfriend couldn't have her fucking pizza. But when you're in a fucking relationship, that's how it goes. Everything's a problem. Every, you know, and I'm probably thinking about it way too much. But yeah. I don't know. I mean, you just gotta find yourself the right person. Also, anybody know how to, how to put on a fucking screen protector? Without having these fucking air bubbles in it. I have no clue how to do it. I don't know how to do it. You have to have it kind of straight, right? <clears throat> Anyone have any ideas on how to how to put a screen protector on without it uh without it fucking getting these little fucking weird bubbles on on, on the edges and shit? Like you keep putting, you keep trying to, you keep trying to fucking smooth it out, but it just, they just keep coming back. I don't know. But one thing I hate about screen protectors is that they're they're always they're good to have. They're good to have, but then. You always get these little fucking bubbles on them. And they're, and they're really hard to get out. So pretty much you just gotta like rub them out. I don't know. But, and that's the other thing that, that's, that's shitty about the Nintendo Switch. This, uh, this fucking kickstand thing. This kickstand thing looks like it's going to break at any moment. Which is going to suck when it does. It feels like it's going to break. At any moment. 
Uh, so I need a micro SD card in there. Okay. So yeah, that's that's a Nintendo Switch for you. <clears throat> but um Yeah. So what else can I talk about? Oh, Outlast Trilogy. I'm I'm getting Outlast Trilogy. Uh, for the next game on my GameFly list, there they already shipped that one out today. Um, I sent back the other two, Uncharted Four and Victor Vran, and now they're sending me out on uh, Outlast uh, Trilogy, so you'll get to see me play that. I also I also want to uh, give a little update on the fucking dollar or Family Dollar. Thing, I gotta go down there on um, on Monday. I gotta go down to Family Dollar and talk with Eric Katz. He he said he's gonna. He said he's uh. You know he he said we're gonna go forward with it on Monday. So hopefully I'll get a job on Monday uh, because of that. Um. And honestly. That's about it. That's about it for um for this video. I mean, is a post office open uh, today? I don't know. Let's see. Um, I really need to get some shit from the post office. Um, let's see. You know what? I don't really need it today. Um, I'm not going to really need it today. No, because I was thinking about packing some shit today. And I just realized, you know, I got fucking... I got fucking three months at least to pack. Okay? So I, I had to go down to the post office to get boxes. The fucking people over there, they threw out all my... They threw out all of my fucking shit in the basement. Threw out all my fucking tubs and shit in the basement. Because it was down in the basement, they threw all that shit out. Ridiculous. They put a fucking padlock on the fucking garage. So that only they have a fucking key for it. And then whenever, whenever, whenever I see it open, I go up there and go, what the fuck do you want in here? What? What are you walking for in here? I threw everything out. What the fuck? I hope this fucking place on Elmwood also has some kind of storage unit in the, in the basement or something. But, um, but yeah, it's just so difficult to find apartments. It really is. It really is. It's so fucking difficult. It seriously is. It's just between, between landlords that... You, you, they, they, landlords, sh shady ass landlords, and you know places that you go and look at, and they're just garbage. Or you have to, you, you, they, they want you to. It's fucking ridiculous. Where they say, well, you need to make three times the amount of rent in, in working. It's like, how about this? How about this? How about, instead of worrying about how much I fucking make, how about, how about this? How about, why not just fucking, how about this? How about just, you know, if I can't pay the fucking rent, then you fucking kick me out. I mean, if I could pay the fucking rent, 
that should be the only thing that matters, right? That, that it shouldn't matter where the fucking money comes from. To them, it shouldn't matter. The the rent, the amount of rent that the amount that I'm making, it should not should be insignificant. Okay, it should be completely insignificant. But they want you to make three times the amount that the rent is. So if the rent's like six hundred, they want you to make like eighteen hundred dollars a fucking month. And that's you know the whole thing is so fucking stupid. The whole thing is fucking stupid. You know between fucking Section Eight bullshit. And just trying to find an apartment is so goddamn stressful. That's why I kind of gave up. That's why I kind of gave up for, for the moment. Because I put my fucking application in on fucking Elmwood and that is it. I really don't want to be looking at apartments anymore. Unless I find something that's perfect. I'm trying to look for the perfect apartment. And a lot of these places, they're just trash. They they just they're just old fucking places. The, the you either have you either have you, you either have these places where oh my god, it's just the oldest fucking place ever where everything is just fucking wood it's just like rotting away wood or you know and then I don't know what the fuck I want to get away from that bullshit though that bullshit with a fucking heater I do not I, I'm going to say this right now I do not like those type of heaters which is big fucking unit in the corner of the fucking room I do not like those at all I cannot stand them I, I just can't I cannot stand those things but whatever Because it either, like, if if you have that on, right? Here's the thing. If you have that thing on, you can put it on so low, it gets so fucking hot in here. And then when you go to turn it off, it gets fucking cold. There's no in-between. There's no, oh, well. There's no, oh, well. You can, you, you can put it on low. No, there is no low. There is no fucking low. You put it on low, once it comes on, it starts heating up and it makes you fuck. It gets you fucking sweaty in here. It, you're getting fucking sweaty. It's sweaty fucking hot in here. You're getting fucking butt crack sweaty in here. Once you put that thing on. Even. Even if you don't put it on, okay, the pot, there's a, oh yeah, there's a fucking pilot light in there, which always has fucking, it, it, you're always going to get hot in here. Fucking ridiculous. I fucking hate pilot lights. But, um. Dude, it's just so, it's just so, a lot of these apartments are just so, like, they're old, they're, they're worn out. You have to deal with shady fucking landlords. They're just, a lot of these landlords, like, you go and call for an apartment, right? And you get this shit, you call for an apartment, they don't answer, and then on top of that, they always, they're, they're always like, oh, well, the mailbox is full. How the fuck does your mailbox get full? 
and you can't even leave a message, and it's like that for like fucking weeks. And then you just, that you got that one fucking landlord that's sitting there posting everything on uh, that they, they post like ninety percent on. They post. Look at this. I don't even know what the fuck this is. This looks like a big fucking scam right here. I'm looking at apartments right now. Let's see here. Um, well, we're gonna put in seven eighty five. And it just feels like it just feels like I'm doing all this work for what? For what? Oh, let's see. Elmwood Village, Norwood, and Breckenridge. One, one large bedroom upper. Tenants pay gas and electric. That's too fucking. Much. And it looks like a nice place too. Too bad you have to pay separate gas and electric here. Yep. So we're going to go and we're going to look at these apartments. West won't live in West Seneca. Large House Naya Falls won't live there. Uh, Lockport won't live in Lockport. Kedmore, a fucking studio. I won't live in a studio. Open house. Where the fuck is this? Seven oh nine a month. Creekside Village Apartments. And where the fuck is this? Oh, look at that. It's way out there. Creekside Village Apartments is an 80-unit complex on the very popular Rain Tree Island. I won't I won't live out there because it's it's too far out. And they have a fucking open house today. The other thing that's pissed me off too with these apartments is that a lot of these apartments, they're, they're, the, 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 the timing does not match up with what I have to do. So for example, for example, like let's say I look at an apartment today, okay? They want me in on April 1st, okay? Well, by the time fucking Belmont gets around to doing their inspection, and I have to move on a, on a first of the month too. You, the the thing is, is that you have you have to get this apartment like at least two months in advance. So if they say, oh well, like right now, right now, if they say, like at this point, it's March tenth today, right? You pretty much have to have an apartment for May. So, and that's bullshit, really, because because Section Eight Belmont won't they they won't let me move on uh, in the middle of a month, and you know they have to go in and do their inspection, which they do whenever they feel like it. And on top of that, the fucking landlord, it, the whole thing is ridiculous. The landlord wants that place rented out by fucking, like, like I have to give 30 days to this landlord, and then I can go, and, and then they have to go and do an inspection, and they will only do an inspection if you give 30 days to the landlord. It's just fucking it. The whole process is just tiring. And then you got these landlords, and uh, I don't want them doing inspections, and it's just. Uh, 
see here. Two bedroom Williamsville. I really don't want to fucking live in Williamsville though. What? Now, you think my mom's my mom's watching these videos, right? And she's like, she's probably saying, look at him. He's looking at a fuck. He's looking at, he's looking at, you know, apartments in Williamsville now. So now we can get him an apartment in Williamsville. It's going to be a fuck. going to be an apartment that's all the way on some fucking side street. Where I thought, where I have to walk two miles to a bus stop. She wanted me, she wanted me to move to fucking Wales. A long time. It was like, uh-uh, I'm not moving out there. Because there's, there's way... Look at this. In order to reserve this unit, a deposit of $125, $125 along with the application are due. Applications are available on site of the 125 that is due. The $100 portion is applied to your security deposit or whatever. The $25 portion must be in cash and is a non-refundable fee for a background check. Again, there's no reason why they absolutely need to do a background check. And if they do a back, if they want to do a background check, then I think that the landlord should pay for it. Why should I have to pay for the landlord to be fucking paranoid. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. $700. Great one bedroom, one bath in Kenton. One bath, one bedroom in Elmwood Village, Massachusetts Avenue. I don't give a fuck if niggers live over there. Okay? I know what my mom's thinking. Well, niggers live there. Like, I don't give a shit. 3106555. Why does that... Why does that... Why does that number sound so familiar? Why does that number sound so familiar? I don't know. Where's my phone? I'll call this right now and, and yeah, let's see, let's see, hold on a second. Is this uh <clears throat> oh, shit? You know what? It doesn't say if there if if gas or electric is included. Or not. All right, let's let's call this number. This number sounds so goddamn familiar. Okay. Hello, my name is Michael Constantino. I'm calling about the 
a one bedroom, one bath apartment, uh, 780 Englewood Avenue. Uh, please give me a call back. My phone number is 716-994-4067. Thanks. Bye. That's the other thing. They won't rent it out unless, you know, because they, they want the thing rented by April, then they have to have it rented by April. And it's just, it's just, uh, like, all utilities included? Oh, wait. This is the same landlord. This is the same exact. Oh, I hate when they fucking do this shit, too. So I got called back this other one. <clears throat> They'll have like so many different apartments and then you have to keep calling them. They're like, well, you're you're calling about this apartment though. Uh it doesn't matter. I'm 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 calling about any apartment that you have that I might be interested in. Okay. Now I have to call this again. I to call the same number again. Hi, thanks for calling. If you're a tenant and you need to meet with your landlord, please leave your name, your apartment, and address, and a brief message, and somebody will get back with you as soon as possible. If you're calling about an existing apartment availability, you can also leave your name and the address of the apartment you're calling in a reference to, and somebody will get back in touch with you. Hi, I just called uh, about the apartment uh, on Englewood. Uh, I'm also interested in the apartment uh, 535 Massachusetts Avenue. Um, please give me a call back, 716-994-4067. Uh, I'm also interested in any other apartments that uh, you might have available um, that are within... Um, either North Buffalo or uh, Elmwood Village or uh, Kenton area. All right, please give me a call back. Thanks, bye. All right. Too bad, oh, I just looked at that one. Let's see, first floor, bright apartment with they didn't even spell utilities right. Whatever. Elmwood and Elmwood and Lexington. Elmwood and Lexington Steel. Please call. Okay. You have any more pictures? So they take a picture of like the corner of the place. That's not a good sign. Well, I mean it does look pretty cool. Elmwood and Lexington. Huh, let's see here. Elmwood and Lexington Steel. Let me see here. Seven sixty nine. Okay. All right, let's see. Here.
Hello, my name is Michael Constantino. I'm calling about the apartment at Elmwood and Lexington. Uh, please give me a call back. My phone number is 716-994-4067. Um, I'm interested in, in that apartment and any other apartments that you may have available uh, that's in um, Elmwood Village or North Buffalo or uh, Kenmore, Tonawanda area. All right, thanks. All right, so there's that mini one bedroom loft with all utilities. It's, it's always, oh, it's, it is, this is, uh, oh, this is the same one, isn't it? Please call Jenny. Okay. I believe this one's the same one. Oh yeah. Elwood Heights at Lexington. Alright. I don't know about that. Won't live in Orchard Park. Won't live in Hamburg because too far out. No Hamburg. That's another thing. All I see, I keep seeing apartments that are in like Black Rock. And they're really fucking cheap, but I don't know about that. And that's the other thing, too. I always see apartments in Elmwood Village. I never see apart. I don't really see a lot of apartments in North Buffalo. Elmwood Village, one bedroom with parking. 303 Richmond Avenue. Richmond at Utica. Uh, super cute, too. It's one of those things. It's one of those, you know what it is? It's one of those apartments where, um, where it's like a separate, it's like on the property, but it's like on a separate building. It's like, like, like its own little fucking apartment, I guess. See, it's like living in somebody's fucking garage. Seeking a house, don't do housemates, don't do roommates. Buffs, no. Summer Street. Let's see here, free month. It looks like it's like almost Elmwood in summer. Rent includes the appliances, gas, heat, water, and garbage. I'd still have a pet fee. I hate that shit. All right. Let's call this one. Oh, I called this already. Thank you for calling. 
Uh, Michael Constantino. I'm calling about the the the, be, uh, the department in uh, at one or wow, two thirteen Summer Street. Um, please give me a call back when you get this. Wow, fuck that up so bad. <laughs> fuck that thing up so fucking bad. Besides, I, I just saw just now that it's a fucking studio. I won't do studios. To me, studios shouldn't even exist. What's this one? I think I, looked, I, think I called for this one. Let's see, Allentown Days Park. studios. Studios should not exist. I'm telling you, studios should never ever exist. Great one bedroom. I think I just called for this one, didn't I? Yeah, that's that's the one I, I called for. Days Park. Call for this one. Ladies, from the Cuphead House Pet and Breakfast, and I'm Jay Peterson, real estate. 
Hello, my name is Michael Constantino. I'm calling about the apartment at 62 Days Park. Uh, please give me a call back. My phone number is 716-994-4067. Thanks, bye. <clears throat> I don't know about that one. It's I, I looked at it while I was calling. It said it was a garden apartment. Oh God, I hate those those apartments. Like, NT won't live in fucking North Tonawanda. Uh, Hamburg won't live in Hamburg. Won't live in Hamburg. Hamburg. We won't live in a studio. No studio. Beautiful three bedroom house. Uh, that looks like a scam. Studio. Studio. Won't live in a studio. Let me just look at that for a second. Yeah, won't live there. It's a studio. Ah, oh, studio, studio, stu, stu, studio. Okay, studio. Here we go. One bedroom on Delaware. Oh my God! It's that same fucking apartment. Oh, shit. Great three bedroom apartment now available in Kenmore Duplex. Okay, let's look at this. Oh wait, did I see this? Did I see this? Uh I think I saw this apartment before. Oh no I didn't. 330 Victoria. Oh, let's see here. Is this uh That's bullshit. They they want to nickel and dime you out, out of everything here. Oh, it's gonna be there's gonna be an extra one fifty security deposit, but you also have to pay fifty dollars extra a month to have a fucking cap. I bet you I bet you you won't you won't be saying that if it was if I had a fucking kid. Oh, you have to pay an extra you know two hundred dollars. Uh, security to have a kid here and also you have to pay an extra fifty dollars a month to have the kid here. Yeah. I bet you I, I guarantee fucking to you you'll never see an apartment listing on here that says something like that. No, yeah, what's this? Apartment on Delaware in North Buffalo with heat included. Watch, I probably have to pay, because it says heat included, I probably have to pay separate gas for, like, cooking, right? And heat. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it looks like a nice place. But, you know, they're going to say, oh, well, you, have, you know what it's going to be? You got to pay, you got to pay for cooking gas. That's what they're going to say. Oh, well, heat's included, but you also got to pay for cooking gas. So, really, it's not included.
studio. I won't, I will not live in a studio apartment. Studio. I just looked at this place too. Uh, I think it's 209 Elm. I think this is the place I looked at. Where it's like real fucking small and you don't even get, you don't even get a fucking bathroom. Wait, is this the place? Kind of looks like it. Oh, no, no, this isn't the place, is it? No, no, that place was, was across the street. Not on the other side of the street. Elmwood Ashland area. Oh boy. Small efficiency. Oh God. It's always something. I, I won't live in an efficiency or a fucking studio. This is what I don't get. Why the fuck do studio apartments even exist? That's what I don't fucking get. Why, why does a studio apartment even exist? this excellent value north buffalo two bedroom on Starin avenue okay this might be pretty cool let's see what the let's see what the let's see what the catch is 700 Even though this actually looks like a really nice apartment. Wow, that is fucking clean. <clears throat> this place is fucking clean as hell. Holy shit. That's a, that's a picture of a fucking bathtub. It looks fucking gorgeous, this place. And they want 700 They want $700. Bedroom check required. Open house. 
Wednesday. Fifty style building. But the landlord pays for the hot water. I would still have to pay for heat and cooking gas, I would think. Plus electric. Oh boy. <laughs> you know what? Let me, uh, you know what? Let me save that. Okay, let me save that. Uh, here. Because I'm not sure. Let me save it. Let me call up my, I know she's not going to be in right now. But let me just call him up and, and see what happens. I'll leave her a message. That way I, you know. What? What the fuck? Alright, let's try it again. This looks really nice. So I saved it. I saved it. See, the thing is that they want $700 for this place. It's a two bedroom. It's a two bedroom, and um, it looks really nice. They want they want seven hundred dollars, but my limit here is uh, they actually raised the limit. They raised the limit up to uh, seven eighty five uh, with, uh, ugh, with everything included, or uh, was it seven eighty five everything included, or six eighty separate utilities now. Here's the thing. It's it's seven hundred dollars, and they want they 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 want seven hundred dollars a month. Plus, I would have to pay. Um, I would have to pay uh, electric, and I would have to. It, it says here, landlord pays for hot water, so I would have to pay what? I would still have to pay some gas. Uh, but it won't, it wouldn't be for, it wouldn't be like a lot, I would think. It would be like, it would be like, um, I would still have to pay some gas and, and electric, but it won't be like a full amount because I'm not paying for gas, like for hot water, so it's not counted. Plus, I get heap as well, so, I mean, and I don't, I don't really use the fucking, uh, I don't use the gas anyway, really, in the winter time. I don't like, I don't like the fucking heat on that much. Because then I get all, then I get all sweaty and, and shit, so. I just get all fucking sweaty. Won't live in Cheektowaga. Won't live in Lackawanna. Mm. <clears throat> uh, Newell Avenue. I don't know about that one. 
that place, that's a little too far out. Riverside, all utilities included. Do I really want to live in Riverside, though? I think this is the fucking... You know what I think this is? Oh, this isn't what I thought it was. I thought it was that fucking Schaefer Village place. It's not Schaefer Village. This is at... Where is it? Skillen and Vulcan. That's not the same thing as Schaefer Village. Kenmore two bedroom. Six fifty seven Englewood Avenue. Where is this? Let's see here. Six seventy five. Actually, you know what? It's six seventy five, which means even if I had to pay separate utilities, it's still within my budget. So let's see here. Okay. A twenty dollar fee. Ridiculous. So that the land, because the landlord's paranoid. That's what it is. Hello, my name is Michael Constantino. I'm uh, calling about the uh, Kenmore two-bedroom apartment at 657 Englewood Avenue. Uh, please give me a call back. Uh, my phone number is 716-994-4067. Thanks. Oh shit, that was it. <clears throat> I just earned a buck right now. <laughs> I just earned one dollar. Quite charming apartment in Elmwood Village area. 
let's see, Richmond at West Utica. Okay, let's see here. It's how much again? Six hundred dollars. So that's that's well within my budget. Uh, let's see. Let's call it. <clears throat> Ow. Hello, my name is Michael Constantino. I'm calling about the apartment at uh, Richmond Avenue and West Utica. Um, please give me a call back. My phone number is 716-994-4067. Thanks. Bye. Looks like a really nice place. One bedroom apartment. Studio. Fucking studio. Oh wait, is this the same place? Yeah, it's the same phone number. <laughs> okay, whatever. Two bedroom upper North I am fucking well. Known, but it's North Tower Oliver Street. Six fifty three Oliver. Is this the place that my uncle used to live in? My uncle Scott used to live in an apartment building on Oliver Street. I'm wondering if this is the same place. I don't know the fucking, uh, I, I'm not exactly sure of the, uh, of the actual address that he lived at, but I know that it was on Oliver. Wheatfield Street. I remember it was like a like a, a uh, it was a Wilson Farms right over there. It was kind of right across the street where he lived. I remember it was like right on the corner of a street. Apartment for rent. Kenmore two-bedroom apartment includes heat and parking. Uh. Apartment for 
rent. Oh, oh excuse me. I mean, this looks like a nice place. <clears throat> but I can't. I, that's still within our budget. I hate when they do this shit. There we go. All right. Let's see here, one one seven three Kenmore Avenue, seven seventy five includes heat. Two and three bedrooms, 600, what is this? Okay. <clears throat> for rent, let's see, for rent, three bedroom. Oh, three bedroom lower, two bedroom upper. Okay, so I would want the fucking two bedroom upper because I I'd rather have an upper apartment anyway. <clears throat> okay. Oh.
Hello, my name is Michael Constantino. I'm calling about the um, where is the uh, the two bedroom apartment in North Buffalo. It says uh, it says three bed lower, two bedroom upper. Um, I'd be more interested in the, in the upper two bedroom because um, I like to be on the upper floor. Uh, please give me a call back. Uh, my phone number is 716-994-4067. Thanks, bye. Utilities included, too. That's pretty fucking good. That really is a good deal. I bet your place looks like complete shit, though. you have inside that just looks a like complete fucking shit huge two bed RR sunny house oh boy where the fuck is this place we have one room available for rent in our own It's one of those, it's one of those communal things. It's one of, it's one of those Ryan Coffin shits. Studio. It's one of those things where, where you have to like share, you have to like share like the bathroom on like four other people. Ugh. God damn. Like I like I like this place, not this place, but you know I I like living in these little play because it's you know we 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 have our own separate we it, it, it can stand alone as its own separate place really. But then you know then you got these other places where it's just like oh you're renting a. You're renting a room. You're not renting an apartment. You're renting a room. You know what I'm saying? You're renting a room where it's not, you, you gotta like share like a bathroom and all that other crap. <laughs> you don't get your own fucking bathroom. You have to share a ba bathroom. And all you get, you get like a little fucking apartment but then you then you also get you get a little apartment to yourself, you know it's ridiculous. Okay, I'm done for now. I think I called enough places, but right now I gotta clean my fucking place. I'm probably gonna move some shit around too in this in this apartment, so I'm gonna do that today. It says Dragon Lord Frodo, and I approve this message. Thanks in advance for watching this.